Now listen, I know, listen, this is another Gen Z versus Millennial thing. I know it's been ruined because it's like dated and it was in all the YouTube memes and stuff like that. My Name of Jeff from 22 Jump Street is a great comedy moment. That's one of the, 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 if, if the American Film Institute did a laugh out loud funniest moments from the 2010s, I'm not saying it would be number one, but it would be on the list for sure. It would probably be in the top 20. It gets me every time. It's, it's really funny. Where would Eminem coming out as gay rank in the interview? I would say like um, in the bottom. Well, not in the bottom, but like that would be one of the top 10 moments from the interview, I would say, which would mean that it's probably like, I don't know, in the top like 1,000 funniest moments of the 20. That's just my two cents. You know what? I'm, I'm just Googling, okay? Best comedies of the two 2010s. Let's see a ranker here. Okay, this one, go, shout out to Collider. Deadpool 2016. Listen, it's very easy to make fun of Deadpool. I, I think two Deadpools is like as many as I have to see. But I enjoyed one and two. There were funny moments in Deadpool and Deadpool 2. That's, that's not a bad movie. The, the, the moment where Deadpool has baby legs in Deadpool 2, that could be in the top... 50 funniest laugh out loud moments of the 2010s easy a don't at me i know i have to see it okay so i can't tell you inherent vice this is um this is just placed on the uh list to make the author smart inherent vice might be a good movie i would don't know if i'd say it's a funny movie maybe droll Game Night. Okay, honestly there's got to be some moments in Game Night that would make the laugh out loud funniest list for sure it's a very fun movie. Thor Ragnarok. You know what my, my favorite moment in Thor Ragnarok? What is it that he says? Uh, uh, I sentence you Thor Ragnarok. What does he say? Chad, can I get this one? What does he say? What does Jeff Goldblum say in that one? He doesn't say it's Ragnarokking time. Life finds a way. Oh, that's yeah, when he's when he's sentencing the guy and he's in the he's strapped into the chair. Please, please, pardon me. All right, I pardon you. I pardon you from life. That's a that's a great moment. Francis Ha, huh? I haven't seen it. I'm not that much of a Greta Gerwig guy. Hail Caesar, come on, don't insult me. 21 Jump Street, number 13. There you go. And 22 Jump Street's kind of up there too. This is the end, 2013. Listen, I know This is the End is also very bad chestable. I think it's a funny movie though. I just like, I, listen, I'll just tell you. I like Seth Rogen more than you do probably. Because like 95% of people online just go, <laughs> I like Seth Rogen. I find him affable and humorous, okay? Spy, I've seen it. I liked it. I don't remember anything about it. The World's End is not a bad movie, but suffers from being the worst of the Cornetto trilogy by far, so I choose to pass. The Lego movie, I've not seen it, but I'm sure I will. What We Do in the Shadows, okay, you know, there would be some genuine laugh-out-loud AFI moments here. I've just been inside doing my dark bidding. What is your dark bidding? Uh, see, right now I'm bidding on a, a chair. I'm bidding on a table. The Nice Guys, I saw it on an airplane. Liked it, but didn't. I don't remember anything about it. Lady Bird, come on. Paddington 2, okay, all right. The Grand Buddha, okay, I gotta, I gotta see some more movies from the 2010s. Bridesmaids, again, why is it that every comedy... Five years after it comes out is so easy to bat chest. Bridesmaids is a, a, it's a good movie. I know that the director then made the Ghostbusters, but with ladies, and now he's kind of like, you know, it's like instead of making a good movie, I could just make a movie that makes mean people not like it, and that's like art for me now. Like that's kind of annoying to me, but, but Bridesmaids is funny. Two, Pop Star, Never Stop Stopping. Actually, an incredible movie. I'm not, would I put it number two? I don't know, but it would be up there. That is, that is a great movie. 
And number one, MacGruber. Okay, this list is insane. <laughs> this list is out of its... Listen, I saw MacGruber in theaters. Like, it's... It's okay. It, it's got more misses than hits. I do think of MacGruber anytime someone cuts me off in traffic and I just repeat their license plate to myself, though. KFBR392, KFBR392. The best comedy movies of 2020. An American Pickle. Are you high? What are you... Who wrote this? All right. I mean, we got nine minutes left. My name of Jeff is funny. That's all I'm saying. Because here's the thing. I wasn't part of like the YouTube community, uh, you know, throw up in the cake batter, bake it, eat it, and then throw up on top of the throw up that you threw up in the cake in the first place. So like I never got like overexposed to the My Name of Jeff stuff. So I know you're probably like My Name of Jeff. What an old reference. I'm more like my I, I have only seen 22 Jump Street two times. Both times that Channing Tatum goes, My Name of Jeff. I, th I thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen committed to film. Okay, if your name is Jeff, I can understand your annoyance. 